We are Birmageddon D3 and I'm joined with a virus. How are you guys doing? Cool man. Hot. Tired. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm under sex. <laughs> we can actually put you run around playing football. That's going to make Yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Saw that. And then, I mean, why? <laughs> literally prophetic in the word. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just like I look like somebody was going to have a coronary thrombosis after the first ten minutes. <laughs> I managed to pull my shit together and crawl to the goal line. He did. He was being like Lineker. <laughs> I played my game with some beauty afterwards. He said, "Fuck that." <laughs> <laughs> Run out of energy. <laughs> can't, can't even bean flick it. <laughs> it's been a while since we last spoke to you, uh, Underworld. Yeah. Excellent interview we had then. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, some really good feedback as well from that interview. Yeah, yeah, I think um, I think it turned a few heads. Yeah, yeah, I think it needed to be sp- needed to be uh, said. Yeah, I had to get a message out. It was it was imperative I got my message over. But I mean, I at, at, at that point, I mean, I I, I didn't want to make enemies, mm. and um, I didn't want people thinking that I was arrogant or or one dimensional. Or just being, I just wanted to be myself yeah. and tell and, and shoot it straight from the hip, and that's what I did. Yeah. And I think it got results. It got results because you got a few more. Li- you got quite a lot of likes on your Facebook page after that interview as well. Wow, well, yeah. Well, thanks to all the fans for that. I mean, I can't thank the fans enough for that. For 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 liking in, um, truthful bands yeah. that will see it how it is and how it was, so that I'd like the younger fans to get to know how, what it what it was like yeah. and what the difference between what it is now than, than what it was before. Mm. And it's a huge difference. Big. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a massive chasm yeah. compared to what it was like. Yeah. Well, so you guys have been in the studio as well. The, you know, yeah, yeah. Is there a release date for that yet? Uh, discussion? It, it, it's, it's up to KMR, a record company in Germany. Uh, they're, they, they won't release it until... Because they have... Um, they have a schedule to yeah. follow, and there's bands mm-hmm. before us. But I did speak to the uh, the owner, and he and he said we will push it forward. I says, look, we need we need to get this out before October because um, we've got a German tour coming up, and yeah. we we we'd really like to launch it over in Germany mm. since uh, record labels a German record label. And the virus needs to spread across the world. And the virus, we need to contaminate a few more countries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're allowed to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if, yeah. If we if we don't get slung out for fighting everyone, <laughs> Norway. <laughs> well, well, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about Norway. <laughs> so you played Les Fest as well. Yeah, this year, cracking festival. Couldn't couldn't have had a better time. Couldn't have had a better time. Uh, socially with the fans, great time. Uh, I, I I will say that. Uh, we we thought we were going to have a problem with the Scottish fans because I didn't really think they knew us too well because mm. like a lot of people from Scotland um, they like travel down to Bloodstock travel down to Hammerfest but you yeah. know if there's bands on their doorstep they don't go and see them and they, they don't listen to too many bands that are out of their comfort zone so say for example they like bands, thrashy bands, yeah. not thrash bands, but thrashy bands, they'd rather listen to those bands than actually listen to like older bands. I'm talking about, you know, possibly bands like Evil, like Gamma Bomb, the ones that are more up to date because that's, the kid, obviously it's the kids that count, they're the future. Yeah. They're, they're, they're going to keep this music going mm. and um, we need to appeal to them to keep our longevity as well. Yeah. So, and I think we, we did the job. Yeah, it was good, we pulled it off. And uh, went down well. Played the uh, well. We took a bit of a risk, didn't we? Playing the old. Uh... We, we we took a massive risk. Yeah. Uh, we we played uh, the Proclaimers 500 miles at the end, and oh, which has become. Uh, it, it was. <laughs> it, it, we thought they were either going to lynch us or love us. <laughs> Luckily, they loved us because we're still here. <laughs> so we've done all right, and it was good. Yeah, and, and it works well, man. Because when we played um, the Unicorn couple of weeks after we were still a bit is this going to work isn't it going to work and for me that was just the ice on the cake because we had South American fans there there were Spanish people that obviously living over here but mates that came Russians Bulgarians Russians and they were all singing it everyone knows the words it's one of them like universal tracks so 
Yeah, we'll see how it goes tonight, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick my neck out here and, and I would say it's a race in the hole. Yeah. Because, you know, like, what I find out nowadays is, like, a lot of bands are far too bloody serious about things. Yeah. Back in the old days, you had Zentrix doing uh, Ghostbusters, you had you had Lawnmower Death doing Kids in America. Nuclear yeah. Assault. Nuclear, Happy nuclear Assault, Happy yeah. Days. Um, who's, who's doing that now? Yeah. No, nobody's doing the cheeky little covers. Whereas... Us, I think it's going to be a blinder tonight. I think it's, I think to, to like to end off, well, not to end off because we've got our, our Thrash Brothers annihilated yeah. to come after us. But I think for us to end off with a drinking song, yeah, especially at a festival like this, Beer Mageddon, I think it just like it, it puts the mark, yeah, yeah. on, on the whole all festival. Fun, it's all but metal and thrash and rock, it's all about having fun. Mm. And that's what people have got to understand. It's you know, like you can watch an, an intense band like, um, I don't know, uh, Dillinger Escape Plan. You know, they're so technical and they're so clinically brilliant. Yeah. But it doesn't look like they have fun. Yeah. It does not look like they have fun. You yes. know, you, that's the difference. Some bands are all about the music. We're and getting the music across. That's their point. Yeah. You know what I mean? But especially under Fresh. Yeah. Well, for me, growing up with it, it was always... Well, it was extreme, it was raw, it was the energy, the pace, the lyrics, everything. But at the same time, the most important thing was the fun factor. Mm. Gigs, wild, you know what I mean? Mm. And that seems to have gone a little bit now. I mean, we spoke about this before down the underworld. It's, yeah. it's a different pit, yeah. crowd. It's <clears> all about who's the hardest bastard in the place now, rather than, well, you just knocked me fine. And it's quick across the floor, but then you're there picking me up. Yeah. It's not like that anymore. It's just I think we we can bring the fun back into thrash. Yeah. I mean, we got a serious side. Don't get us wrong. We're not a novelty act. Mm. But uh, I I think we can bring the fun back into thrash. I mean, uh, I, I, there's no there's no band here that's really done a fun cover, mm. and we're the band that's going to do the fun cover mm. tonight. And I, I and honestly, I hope that. There's going to be like chanting at yeah. the end of this because we've got like a special way we're going to sing it tonight. So uh, <laughs> it works everywhere we it, play it. it We've played it to ten, twelve people in little venues before. And the rose, remember on. the rose in Hounslow? Yeah, we didn't even know it then. We didn't even we didn't even know it then. <laughs> we, we 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 just winged it. We just we just we just you just started it. I joined in. It was yeah. only me and you. And we didn't know what we were yeah. doing. But everyone loved it. There's a couple, there's a couple of DDDs in the audience. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but, but it got covered. <laughs> But, but the, it's just the fact, you know, it's it's a fun song. Yeah. I mean, we, we're not doing it exactly the same as the Proclaimers. That would just be boring and we'd like, they'd, they'd all have their pillows out and, and falling asleep at the, the stage. We, we, we could possibly do an acoustic number of it if we're allowed to. <laughs> Which we won't. <laughs> yeah, but we go down like a lead sock. Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, at a bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a fun number. It really It's a really, great it number. It is absolutely excellent. It's but it's a party the, number. Yeah. Isn't when it? Jim played it, he said, I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. I want you to see how many people guess within how many seconds. Yeah. As soon as it like started. As soon as it out, starts, you know what it is. Oh wait. Oh crap. You know yeah, what there it was. It was a deafening silence at Les Fest <laughs> yeah. when we started it. <laughs> there was a, there, there was a pregnant pause at Les Fest. It was like eh. <laughs> and, it, and we were like back on track again. But I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't, I could not believe the reception we got at Les Fest. I mean, like they were joining in with the chorus. I mean, the whole, it's, it's a, the whole it's, like lot. I said, it's a fun track. It's a party track. Mm. Everyone knows it, and it's one of them tracks. I kind of look at it as eccentrics, kind of like Ghostbusters. Yeah. Because them guys were kind of real low on the radar, but when they brought that track out, that cover. Every metal that I know was like, have you heard it? Have you heard that Ghostbusters? Yeah. And it really turned people on. And their gigs after that were just rammed. Mm. And it was all for that song to yeah. start with. Yeah. But then obviously, you know, it draws people in. So that's the plan behind that. Track. A lot of people, a lot of people just go to see certain bands just for the for the covers. Yeah, one yeah. two tracks yeah. and that's it. They're off. But and yeah. and, and and it's like uh, it's the race in the hole really mm. for a lot of bands it pulls them out a lot of shit we don't want to be remembered just for playing well no we you know it's a, from our point of view it's a fun little bit of fun from us to everybody oh, sort of thing and i mean i can remember um back in 1988 at leeds queen's hall the thing that dug us out of the out of the uh, out of the mire was uh, the monster mosh 
Yeah. And it was a novelty song, you know, and um, we were dying to death on stage. I mean, we, we were going to... We, I, I felt like the sky was falling on me and I just wanted to get the hell off that stage. Mm. And uh, next thing I look up and like it's like seven rows jumping up and down to the Munster Marsh. It saved our bacon. Yeah. It really saved our bacon. So if it goes tits up tonight, we've always got the proclaimers to look forward to. <laughs> and we'll blame them. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll blame him. <laughs> blame the drama. <laughs> I see it was you giving the nickname after this fest as well, wasn't you? Yeah. Apparently I am the bionic bastard. <laughs> Dubbed by Sheppy. <laughs> the blur. The blur, yeah. Uh, yeah, bless him. <laughs> the new album, um, in regards to artwork, sorry I didn't mean to disturb you from the view just then. <laughs> well, it's a lovely view, I'm just watching... Uh, oh, he's got such a nice bald head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into bald heads. <laughs> The new, artwork, the new artwork for the album. Yeah. Um, Steve Ebden. Excellent. Steve Ebden. Uh, he lives in Denmark. Mm-hmm. Uh, great guy. Great artist. Fantastic artist. Um, we, we wanted a post-nuclear thing. Yeah. We wanted, like, um, you know, uh, soldiers with EVAC suits on. Uh, and basically, he came up with the goods. Mm. It's just what we needed. It just epitomises the, the, the songs on the album. Yeah. It really does. He did a fantastic job. Also, I must, must say a lot of credit goes to Lee Day, who was our tech man who did all the, the, uh, the web design stuff. He, he did all the, uh, the texture work and he, on the, uh, the texting. Yeah. And he did a fantastic job as well. And he also designed a new mm-hmm. logo. Mm-hmm. So um, massive kudos to him because he's, he's a fantastic uh, tech guy. Couldn't, couldn't ask for a better guy. Because the virus logo itself has really become outstanding yeah. as well. It's almost like a... There you Punch go. in the face. Yeah. yeah. You know, it sticks at you and it's like... Um, as well as it's got, it gives off the idea that it's corroded. Yeah. yeah. And we all are fucking corroded in some way. <laughs> yeah. I ate mainly with us. Yeah, well, yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> I was. <laughs> me, it's my testicles because they look like two iron raisins. <laughs> Mine are all right, they're a bit like Israeli oranges. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I know, yeah. I don't know, I've seen better. <laughs> so you guys going to be doing a, a UK-wide tour? Eventually, yeah. eventually we're going to we're gonna do something. Uh, we're going to do a, a, a UK tour and hopefully a European tour. But um, as of yet, there's nothing definite on that yet. Mm. Like I said, we've got a few dates in Germany, so like uh, I haven't been back to Germany in 20 years. So uh, I'm really, really looking forward to that. Mm. And um, it's, one of these, it's one of these things, we just seem to do better in, in Europe than we do here. And um, that kind of makes me feel sad. Mm. Because there's, it, it seems like there's, there's not an audience for us here, but there is in Europe. Yeah. And there's, there's more attention focused on us in Europe than there is here, which is, which is okay, which is fine. Which, but, but, you know, for fans in the UK who, who want to see us, and to be quite honest, I, and this is like speaking from the heart, and I, I don't know if the other guys feel about this, but we're not going to do too many gigs in the UK. Yeah. Because uh, I feel we're, we're just like in a big pit. There's no point in us doing our loads of gigs are organised by ourselves. Gigs yeah. We put on ourselves yeah. in London. But if we can bounce on the support acts to other bands, bigger bands, yeah. that's I think where we need to be. We want to play to the bigger crowds, bigger venues, turn more heads in one hit, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. rather than four or five gigs over a couple of months in London. That was the idea with the Suicidal Tendencies gig. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's, such, it's such a hard thing to do. You know, you're the first band on, you're the warm-up band for the, for the, support, for the main support band. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, you know, there's only going to be a handful of people in when, 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 when you're playing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to get an audience where, like, Seventy um, percent of the crowd are there to see suicidal tendencies, and twenty percent are there to see Evil. Yeah. And maybe ten or five percent are there to see us. Mm. You know, it's difficult. It's very difficult. 
you know, because these bands have got so much status. Yeah. And we're trying to get the status back that we got before. Yeah. And it's like climbing Mount Everest. Here in the UK, it's like climbing Mount Everest yeah, or North Face of the Igor. You, 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 you're, you're, you keep on falling back down. A lot of bands try and do more gigs to, mm. to, to, to get to that point. We're, right. trying, we're trying to do less gigs yeah. so that we can generate interest in Europe. And if the UK see that we're doing well in Europe, mm. then they might be interested in us playing more of the UK festivals. Yeah. And they shall remain nameless. Yeah. It's, it is a very sad state of affairs when European, the European community yeah. recognises the English talent more than what... It's the, true. The English do. It's true. It really is. The European, Eastern European, Western European, Scandinavia. Yeah. It goes down well out there because it's like stepping back 20 years mm. in time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Bulgaria was like that. Spain was like that. Spain was like that. It's just full of thrashes. Yeah. And they're all old school and they live for it. Mm. Yeah, there's still there's like there's yeah there's there's, there's more of a, um, an audience over there that are that are dressed like the kids yeah. like we were kids when yeah. we were back in back in the eighties. These kids are dressing like that now yeah. in Eastern European countries. They, they don't have the money for the for the brand new leather jacket or something like that, you know. And and, and Spain as well. I mean, Spain it's like it's like walking back uh, twenty years. Yeah. yeah, it's great because you 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 get the attention. From the fans, hmm. I mean, if this was a festival in Spain, people just wouldn't walk past you like they don't know you. They they walk up to you and go, "Hey, man!" Yeah, that's the way. It, that's the way it was yeah. when we played Spain. But I mean, I think for all the bands in the UK, I think um, there, there needs to be uh, there needs to be a festival where they can they can show that there is UK talent. Here and old UK talent as well yeah. as the new UK talent, yeah. and Beam Again is the place to do it. It most certainly is. It certainly is. Because if it's not for the likes of Jim Beerman and ourselves, that's something who are highly passionate about mm. uh, the old school thrash, the unsigned bands, that sort of thing. Because there's no error. You guys are effectively promoting it. Yeah. You, you're promoting bands like us, bands like, uh, you know, Chemical, yeah. b uh, bands like um, Resin Wolf, uh, Reanimator, you know, the, the bands that are maybe, some bands that are not heard so much of Dam. Yeah. There's no outlet for bands like us and other bands likewise and festivals that it's, be, like it's because there's, there's guys like you, because mainstream lot, they don't, they're not interested in it. They, they'd rather put like, you know, a Slipknot song on the radio yeah. or an Evil song because it it's current. Yeah. Whereas yeah. you know we we that's where we kind of struggle mm. because there's Gay Rabbit. There's Gay Rabbit. There's always Gay Rabbit, but I can get it. We don't want to unleash him. Even some of the music channels. <laughs> well, unless you are commercial. Uh, well, got to a certain stage. I'm on Viva every week. Yeah. There you go. Shall I, I plug my Jesse J video? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to say about have that. You, have you seen it? Have you seen it? I haven't had a chance to see have it. You, have you seen it? Oh, it's... It's outrageous. <laughs> it's the ruin of my career. It really is. I mean, I'm, I, I mean, it looks like I've got a cheese grater on my head. It really has. It was, they were trying to get... They were trying, what they were trying to do was they were trying to get the look of uh, Mean Machine from um, the, uh, the 2000 AD. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. I didn't. I, I I didn't pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> what I did want to do was pull Jesse G's pants off. That would be rather interesting. But yeah, Coke and a Jesse G video with the virus T-shirt. I must admit, I had my virus T-shirt on, so all good. It's it's any publicity is good publicity, you know. That's it. It was just one of those things when you put it up on Facebook. I just this was that. I was just laughing so much. What a noodle I looked through, didn't I? <laughs> I mean, I just looked a fucking noodle amongst like him. Um, I thought, but I, I actually, I actually fitted in with the freaks. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's going on a t-shirt for you, that definitely. Oh, I fit in with the freaks. I fit in with the freaks. Yeah, yeah. New t-shirt. New t-shirt. Yeah. So have you got um, new merch lined up as well for um, obviously when the album sort of comes out, you. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we we're going we're going to we're going to get new T-shirts out of uh, the merch stuff. We got this this T-shirt that we did, but it was just a subsidiary T-shirt. Uh, it was just to, like to promote the, uh, the 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 new album before um, before it came out. Yeah. 
but um, we'll get other t-shirts made, better t-shirts with the um, you know, with with the design, yeah. Hopefully, it's actually so. quite effective. Actually, yeah, um, it's okay. It's like if that was in if that was in black and this was like a luminous green type thing. So. Um, you know, it's called being skint. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the yeah. Two, two, two colours. It's like it's <laughs> it's quite expensive. So yeah, we yeah, went for black and white because they were free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's that's nice, our budget. Mass, yeah, the, the first the, the first lot were free. Speaks words. Yeah, we got we, we got we got we got free T-shirts the last time. It was a free T-shirts and a handshake and goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I've still I've still got your T-shirt. Still oh, wear it. Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still wear it around. Oh, I didn't know we gave you one. I must have been drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember giving you a T-shirt. But... Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I think, yeah. I think we brought one in. Was it was it in the, the underworld? In the underworld. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. I must have been drunk. <laughs> Yeah, you did have a couple, I think. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that was, um, yeah, those t-shirts, those t-shirts are right, but mm. I mean, um, it's, it's a budget, it's the yeah, budget. Yeah. It's like anything, you like, um, uh, you, you've got a cheap budget, you'll get cheap shit t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. You know, you'll get cheap t-shirts. Um, the, the patches are okay, I like the patches. He's sporting a Force Recon one. That's nice. Yeah, it's not showing on very well. Uh, Rusty Don't Sew. Oh, there's a, there's another song right there, Rusty Don't Sew. <laughs> yeah. What's about the patch on his leg? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the other one. Oh, that's the patch. That's the cover, but it's a bit faded. It's, it's faded. It? You don't tell me you washed it, did you? Bloody washed it, didn't you? Oh, I had to, I had <laughs> not supposed to wash patches. Well, I had to. <laughs> you got a nice package down there. Oh, no, I know, it's all right there. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Lucky me. <laughs> How's the um, album going to be released? Is it more CD and download? Yeah. Um, well, the, the, this, now this is the, the bone of contention here. Um, Germans love their LPs. Yeah. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, KMR release it as an as an LP. I think, think that would be to order. Uh, yeah, it will be to order. Yeah. yeah. CDs probably hopefully with mass. We'll. Um, We'll get a certain amount of CDs from them to sell at, yeah. at festivals and gigs, but they will uh, they will do CDs and they will probably do vinyl as well. I, I'd imagine it's a big thing in Germany vinyl. Yeah. They normally do um, a couple thousand uh, or uh, sort of limited edition sort of vinyl. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah, that's they, what they do they 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 do that with all with all the bands and mm. in Germany it seems to be like a, a trend there really. Yeah. Well, it's, it's the insurgent, the reinsurgent mm. of final. Mm. It, it's the way which they're trying to get it back into. Because I'd love to go down to a, like a, 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 a record shop. But they don't. They don't call them record shops. Anymore. Well, it's actually see a vinyl. It's, yeah. it's yeah. absolutely massive in America still. It's big in Europe as well. When we played Norway, the DJ there played. LPs. Yeah, he was. He, 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 he wasn't. He, there, was, there was no CDs. It was just. It was just like an old DJ yeah. from, from the seventies. It was. You know, just like he played. He had Rattle and jumps. <laughs> but that's 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 you know that's got character. Yeah, it's good. How the fuck do you get character from a CD? It. Oh, it's, there it is. Oh, stop! Oh, it, wait a minute, it jumped. But you know, like you hear the crackle of like um, lunacy. <laughs> It was the good old days of going to like a rock club and that sort of thing. God, yeah. Don't stand too close to them. Don't yeah, jump. Don't like jump. Up. Yeah. You know, people yeah. at the front just yeah. jump. You know, don't. Especially if you didn't like the track. Well, like, <laughs> <laughs> don't pogo a, a punk di- a punk disco. Yeah. <laughs> then he'll just jump. <laughs> never fought. Someone never fought in the... it's, all, it's all fun. So the other thing as well. Uh, Canadian companies bringing back cassettes. You're really, joking. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah, know that. Trying to bring reinsurgents cassettes back. Do you, do you, th- do you think that'll work? No. <laughs> I think that'll <laughs> last cassette, about yeah, five I mean, seconds on, on, on the market. You can buy a Walkman when you can buy an iPod. <laughs> <laughs> and how many what cassettes would they sell a Walkman through? for? You ma- you imagine, you imagine you see a new strain of an old disease on, it, on an 8 track. <laughs> 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 that'll be fun. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, beside, right beside John, in between Johnny Mathis and Barry Manilow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Currently residing in the well, where you are now file, <laughs> gathering dust in between Johnny Mathis and um, Barry Manilow and Liberace. 
I hope we get that slot on a festival somewhere. Or a little scratchy. Right between those two. Oh yeah. <laughs> stuck between stuck between Barry Manilow and Johnny Mathis. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I do a good Johnny Mathis impersonation, actually. No, you don't. <laughs> no, I don't. No. <laughs> I do not. Why did I just say that? <laughs> um, do you do any impressions, then? Oh, yes. Yes, well, you know, it's... Uh, oh, uh, that was Eddie, Eddie Irvin from... Uh, it, was mo- it was supposed to be Sean Connery, but it ended, it ended up as Eddie Irvin from It's a Knockout. Sounds like Carol Holderman. <laughs> I could do Stuart Hall. Don't do Sh- that one. <laughs> Shut up, get your knickers off. It's a knockout. <laughs> I know you're only 14, but it's a knockout. <laughs> you can't take him anywhere. I know. I, 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 I know, I'm just a bit mad. <laughs> Here come the Belgians. <laughs> She's only 14. Uh, okay. <laughs> As I say, we're really looking forward to seeing you take to the stage tonight. Oh, well, it should be a good laugh. Yeah, we're yeah. up for it. Yeah, we're totally up for it. We're, we're a bit knackered, but um, if if there's any place to die, it'll be on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> well, I should be um, take photographs. Oh, that's concert. cool. I should be in the pit. Then I shall get to the back. Because gone are the days where I get in the, into the pit. Oh, me too. Me too. Gone are those days as well. I, I think I got launched into the pit at the Underworld one one evening, and uh, it was a band called uh, The Sword. I got launched into the pit, and I thought, Nah, never again. <laughs> That's never ever going to happen again. Yeah. I'll just prop. I'll, I'll just prop myself on the stool at the bar. And, and, and sit there with, with with one arm on me and another another arm round the nice looking <laughs> or, or, chihuahua or, or yeah chihuahua and a pims and lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Coke the vet. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, it's been absolutely brilliant. Thank you. So it's been fantastic. Thanks again, man. Really appreciate it. Really looking forward to the, the brand new album coming out as well. Yeah, yeah. looking forward to that. Be cool.